Welcome to Son of the Most High channel. All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. I'm Brother Jedaniah, and I appreciate y'all tuning in to my channel. Let us return to our original heritage and culture of the Second Covenant in Yahusha. Hallelujah. So there's a reason why I lead off my videos, most of them, with uh, all praises goes to the Most High Yahuwah. Now, you don't see me saying all praises goes to the Most High Yahusha, right? Even though the name means Yahweh is salvation or savior. Even though I know who Yahusha is, I still give honor to the one who begotten Yahusha, who is a part of the Father. Now, being a direct piece of the Father, direct piece of the Father, broken off, is of the Father, he is the Father, brothers and sisters. It's the same as when Jacob took on the name Yahshua and he had what 12 sons right and those same sons took on his name afterwards and all the sons afterwards is just called Yahshua why is that why is that because they are a direct of Yahshua. They are his sons. And everything that Yahshua had in him, he put in his 12 sons. It's the same thing with, with uh, Yahusha. Everything that the father had in him, he put in his son from the very beginning of time. And the same is going to be with us whenever we receive the fullness of his spirit in us or be changed and to have our new body like the Messiah. We will be like him and everything that was that is in the sun will be in us as well, brothers and sisters. So this is the reasoning for uh, what John is saying right here. When, when the son was was begotten he was begotten for the father's purpose which is to be a help me to the father a direct help me in which which the father used them if you want to use the analogy as a husband and wife uh that's the best way to see it as of course he's not no wife or nothing you know what he's but he, using the analogy uh the wife purpose is to be a help me to the husband and all that he sets forth to get done or to to whatever and he and and the wife is supposed to uphold what the husband has set forth in their household or their kingdom so to speak the husband's kingship where she sits as a queen and, and um, she upholds the kingdom that he has built and he has set forth and so the same analogy is applied to Yahusha who is from everlasting he's directly from everlasting uh, to be that help me of the father and the Father used him to get all things done. This is what is being said right here in John. And John understood this. And uh, we, we're not going to make ourselves greater than John or greater than Peter. Even Peter knew who the uh, Son of Man was or who the Son of Yah was. Uh, so when you read this right here. You have to couple it with the other things that we see. Like right here. Uh, 
let me see if I can bring this scripts down a little bit. Okay, someone said that these verses here proves that the Messiah is not the Most High Creator. So, I can um, also say you who are of the children of Yahshua is not Yahshua. You are not Yahshua. But guess what? The Father calls us Yahshua, doesn't he? So you have to think of Yahshua and his 12 sons. His 12 sons are a direct extension of Yahshua slash Jacob, right? He lives on in his sons and by his sons, which is why today we can call ourselves by his name. Even though he has been dead and gone for centuries, if you can understand this, then you will understand what we are saying brothers and sisters when we talk about Yahusha so you who are the real bloodline descendants of Yahshua is Yahshua according to the father you, he sees you and, and, and we who are in Yahusha he sees Yahusha when he looks at us because we are now reborn of Yahusha, brothers and sisters. So now we, 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 we take on all that is in him, all that is him, including the spirit that was given to him. So we are all Yahusha's now. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to understand, but it really ain't. If you put it all together, if you put all the scripts together and leave nothing out, you understand what this means right here. This is the humbling of Yahusha when he came down as a man, Lord, Lord, not Lord, L O R D, Lord, L O R L O L O W E R. He lowered himself. In order to come down here to do, to fulfill all that was written about him. The father hid him for this purpose. Even for the messengers, he was hidden. Because he knew that the, some of them would fall, right? So, uh, that's the reason why Hashatan had trouble figuring out. Was this the son of Yah? Even though he knew the scriptures, but he just couldn't believe it. But anyway, so right here, it says no one knows about that day and hour. Not even the son, but the father only. And it says here, my father, it is, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as thou will. Now as you read all of this here, the Father is greater than I. My Lord, my Lord, why hast thou forsaken me? You have to think about the husband and wife thing. You know how the, the uh, wife was begotten directly of Adam? You know, Eve, Eve was directly begotten. You know, the Father put Adam to sleep. And um, even though Adam was made a little bit lower than the, the angels themselves, you could see the same analogy of the father and son in him, in his creation, right? Father put Adam to sleep, took a piece of his rib, and, and uh, fashioned Eve. And now she became womb man from the womb of man, from the womb of Adam. So she is tied to him eternally, begotten of Adam. The same thing is with the son, completely begotten of the father. The father took a piece of himself and made, or uh, begotten, let's say begotten, Yahusha. He, he took a direct eternal piece of himself. 
to be gotten uh, the son to be his help me brothers and sisters and this is the narrative that the disciples understood of Yahusha when he came because it was in him in them to understand this from the beginning of time all those who are uh, of the father will understand or let's say his children will understand what we're saying this is not a Christian thing this is something we knew before they knew it and we we the ones that taught them they got this from us before they hijacked our heritage and culture and turned it into their version of religion that they follow. So, uh, now you can understand why Yahusha is from everlasting. You can understand now why did he call himself uh, I am and why he said before Abraham was I am let's see is this the right chapter Oh, here it is. Yahusha said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. So, he could say that because he was directly begotten of the Father. And is the Father. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So, even though, let's go to the Revelations. Let's go to Revelations. One and, uh, what is it, 15? No, I think 12 or 11. Yeah, 11. No, no, no. Well, he can say this as well. I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So you got to put all this together. Why can't he say these things? Why is it blasphemy? And, and right here, fear not. I am the first and the last. Again, he says... Why is he the first and why is he the last? You see, the Father begot him for his purpose to fulfill his will. Just as a, as your wife is supposed to be with you as a man, brothers and sisters. You know, using that analogy or, or using what the purpose of a husband and a wife is on this earth to reflect those things of the father and the son, uh, you can see that the wife's purpose is for the husband, period. And then you have children and those sons carry on the father's name, his instructions, his teachings, his everything he puts in the sons. And uh, in the wife, you know, the daughters are to be given away to continue on someone else's son's lineage and, and, and help them and their king, kingship over their 
household. Y'all see the purpose? The purpose of a woman? It's right there in Yahusha. But even though Yahusha is the head of uh, and king over the uh, over the assembly, over the congregation of Yahshua, uh, he he plays that role of the husband man, and we play the role of the wife to help Yahusha fulfill all that was put in him to fulfill, and it's the same as. The fathers putting the, you know, everything in Yahusha to fulfill his will. So whatever's in him is in put in us that we may fulfill the same things as a help me to Yahshua. We're still being a help me unto the father because Yahshua, uh, I mean Yahusha, we're still being a help me to the father. And Yahusha is directly from the father. So, when you see the, the verse all, uh, as well that says the Father is all in all, He's all in all, He's all in all of us as well. For everything that, that is in us is, is of Him, His Spirit, His life, His, his uh, teachings, His everything. We become like help meets unto the Father. That's why the Father said, We we who is Yahshua is married unto him. Directly. Married unto him. Well, let's say adopting me. <laughs> married. Chosen. And we become like many Yahoos or many Yahushas on the earth. Showing forth his praise and his plan and his will and, and being directly used by him. Showing his power in the earth. You know, the father put his power in his 12 sons. And we see many examples of that showing of his power. His kodashness. What he is and what he, well, whatever he is, is us. That's what he wants. He wants a lot of hymns walking around. <laughs> That's the end result. To purge us out from, from the knowledge of good and evil, which was put in us to know evil and practice all that mess as well. To purge that out to know just the Father's righteousness and good and everything that is Him, including uh, His judgments as well. Everything that is Him. He wants in us to be him, like him. And just as Yahusha was directly separated from the Father, well, not separated, he's, he's always one with the Father, but begotten, you know, directly taken so he can fulfill these purposes. The same thing is with the woman. Directly begotten of Adam to fulfill the purpose of Adam and that's why Adam was given dominion over the earth kingship Adam named all the animals and insects and birds and every living thing in the seas it didn't say Eve did all that Eve, Eve came along oh I don't know exactly when she came along. Uh, we know that the animals was already made, and because you know they was brought before Adam, and when the father saw that animals alone, you know, looking at the animals, okay, the animals they they had their help me, they had their way to procreate and carry on life, and we saw the animals alone. Okay, let me let me give Adam a a helper. And he did exactly as he did in Shemayim above when he begot Yahusha himself. And, he, and, and Yahusha directly obeyed every commandment the Father gave him. That, 
defeats his purpose. So that's what we're trying to say, brothers and sisters, when we say Yahweh is Yahusha. It's the same analogy as Yahusha Raw is uh, Jedaniah. If you're one of the twelve sons or uh, of uh, sons or daughters of of Jacob, you could say the same thing. You are Yashara, walking on this earth. You are the continuation of Yashara. I hope I'm getting through to y'all, brothers, so you can clearly understand what what they understood back then when they was writing all this. And when they saw Yahusha and knew that he was Yahweh with us, because that was his name, that was Yahusha's full purpose in life to directly represent the Father in creating and uh, showing his power and being a, a living sacrifice. Being the Father come down in the flesh to be a living sacrifice for Yahshua, that He may get all the esteem. He He still does. He always have the esteem, and that's the reason why you see me lead in that proclamation. Every video, almost every video I make, where everything is given to the Father through the Son, because through the Son we are brought to the Father. But you don't see me going around, oh, I worship, I worship. Even though Yahshua is, I mean, Yahusha is going to get his reverence when he come back and sit on his throne. And the full power of the Most High sitting up there. You're going to say that that's the Most High sitting up there. You remember how the, uh, the angels came? They came in the full power of the Most High in the burning bush and all that. And though they knew it was that, that was the an angel, but that was the Most High too, right? He was talking to the Most High. When, when they, that was the angel standing there. Now, sometimes the angels came as the angels, and you knew they was an angel. And they'll tell you, don't worship me, worship the Most High. But when the Most High fullness of his power, because his name is on them, was just shown through them you fell down and you know what I mean and, and, and when, when the most I came on, on the mountain uh, it was him but it was Yahusha you know what I'm saying to help me to the most high because if the most high came here I mean him. The whole earth would burn up. It would burn up. No joke. If he came in the fullness of power. See that's why y'all sure got to get rid of all evil. So when he do come. Everything won't burn. Smooth up. Everything will be locked away. Where it's supposed to be locked separated from the most high and the fullness of her power can be around us as long as we are cleansed and purged out brothers and sisters y'all get what i'm saying so i just wanted to have this discussion about uh, what is the the meaning of yahweh is yahusha in its fullness so take all the scriptures not just hey this is what i was supposed to be showing <laughs> i forgot i made two of them you can't quite see you can see all of it here though but anyway y'all y'all get what i'm saying you know uh, some of y'all get what i'm saying you have to take all the scriptures and not just take some of these things by itself. Like right here. The Father is greater than I. I could say yes to that. 
I agree. The son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees the father doing. Because whatever the father does, the son does also. Yes. Yes. All of this is true. But you got to take it all as a whole. Look at what this is saying in combination with what this is saying. And how he could say, I am. And how he can even call us Alua's and Psalms. How in the world can we be called Alua's? Let's go to Psalms real quickly. Eighty-two and six. I have said you are Alua's, and all of you are children of the Most High. So it's the same as Yahusha being Alua as well. We who are directly in Yahusha and reborn, rebirth as a new, new uh, heavenly uh, Shemayim being, our heavenly being, just like Him, are Alua's. But in this current state, we shall die like men and fall like one of the princes because of sin in the earth. Now the other ones are not Alua's, for they are Satan's children. They are reborn into a fallen state and do the will of their father, the devil. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's the same thing. When Yasharal became a prince, he became an Alua. And his sons. And this is why the Messiah repeated what was said right here. And this is a psalm of Asaph. brothers and sisters this is from the father telling us Yashara you are Alua's your mighty ones and it's not a blasphemous thing to say because he said it now if he didn't say it then it would be some blasphemous thing or idolatrous thing to say. All right, I hope y'all are getting it and understanding the narrative that our forefathers understood before the heathens took it and made Christianity and, and start calling J.C. their Alua. Now let them say whatever they want to say about their JC. But let us say what we need to say about our Yahusha and our Yahweh. Because it's not the same as their G.O.D. and JC. Yahweh and Yahusha is not G.O.D. and JC. It's not. They're, those are two different entities for that religion. That's why I always say y'all need to come out of that religion and put away their, their mighty ones names as well. And we know that a lot of us is not awake and so sometimes you, you have to uh, represent uh, those names to people and show them the real names and say here's what's here 
I know you know GOD and JC and you read the Bible and it's that's the names that's in there. But look at the ways and compare the ways of if, if you know like uh, if I'm talking to someone uh, I would I would point out the ways of the true Messiah and and I may say there are two messiahs two uh jesus's or two god's gods and point out the differences and and then bring up the names later so they then get the separation of the it just depends on the person that i'm talking to or y'all y'all know what i'm saying as as paul said he becomes whatever the people need him to be at the moment so at the moment the most high will put in you how to approach them uh, and how to when the right time is to reveal the names just as the father woke me up he didn't just instantly uh, start saying that ain't my name that ain't my name no I had to be slowly grown out of God and Jesus Christ and then represented Yahuwah and Yahusha. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So when the Father called me in 2011, uh, the names was important, but not as important as all the the way the way he had to bring me out because he knew who I was and what I was taught and where my mind was at the time he knew he had to do it in such a way and I didn't find out the names of the father till after 2014 I didn't find out that we was the true Yashalites till 2014 brothers and sisters So, yes, the names are important, but just remember how he brought you out, little by little, and how he explained it to you little by little, and revealed his name, Yahweh, and revealed his son to you, Shah, and the meaning and purpose behind his son. So, brother, says if you haven't seen the playlist, oh, Yahusha in the Old Testament, go check that out and tie that in with the other videos I have about Yahweh being Yahusha, so you can get a full understanding of what I'm talking about. And you won't think it, it is blasphemy or, or wicked or evil to say that uh, Yahweh is Yahusha in the flesh. You won't feel that way once you get that fuller meaning. Hopefully my breakdown in this video helps you understand where I, what I believe and what I understand in the entirety of the scriptures. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So, brothers and sisters, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. Let me say hallelujah in the, in the comment section. Let me know. If you found a new understanding and you're still trying to get it, let me know. Email me if you have to. It takes time to peel away and unlearn the things that we learned over all these years and put on what what is in the sun to know and what is in our ancestors to know. As far as the ones who f uh, followed Yahweh and didn't turn from him, the ones who got it right, the prophets, the apostles, the disciples, what they believed. 
These are the people we should be listening to, not men today waking up and telling you things that would turn you from the way the Father said he was going to save us. And that's what's happening today. They're becoming like the Pharisees of today where they are refuting in them and doing everything they can to rebel and reject the, the way the Father says that he was going to save us. You know, also, um, when you look at Adam, and when Eve, Adam and Eve sinned and the father performed the first sacrifice for sin. When he made those coats out of those animal skins, that was the first sacrifice for sin. And he put that on there. And he said, Oh, he pretty much was showing Adam how he was going to come and sacrifice himself for sin in so many words in the beginning. You know, we read some of that Adam and Eve, uh, the book of Adam and Eve. If you go read that and uh, some of that stuff may not be translated correctly, so be careful while you're reading that and take a look at everything that took place in the beginning even when um, now let me just go to Genesis very quick here when Alua said let us make man in our image after our likeness who was he talking about and who was this this was Yahusha doing the will of the father Who's directly of the Father? This is what John knew and understood when John spoke and said that he was the Word. Alua was the Word. This is who is speaking right here. Let us make man in our image. He's their direct expression, direct image of the Father. Just as man is the image of Alua or Yahusha. Y'all see the order? The order has always been there in our faces. While the Father's the Father sitting on his throne, he speaks through Yahusha all the time. And Yahusha was that high priest who had the word in him and who was the word. The help me of the most direct help me of the most high. Doing all things that he said to do. And we would do them as well, brothers and sisters. the son leaves his throne room. and that's why when those uh, messengers also went down with Yahweh who was Yahusha to see what Nimrod was doing even though he knew but 
they said, let they they went down and, 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 and saw it. And then the father, through the sons, tore it down and uh, scattered uh, the people and gave them all different languages. And so, going back to the same analogy of the husband and wife, wife, women, do you understand your purpose now and your place and how esteemous that position is with your husband? You see it now. This you you have an, an important esteemous position in the earth. Even though you know the scriptures mainly focus on man and, and, and the sons. The whole book is written about Yahusha, who is the help meet of the Most High. Think about that. Because I remember there was a woman on Facebook when I was on Facebook a lot. Um, back in the day she said we're not important where are we in this she couldn't see her position and her place and so she would cause strife all the time in Facebook and many women and, and whenever they got something some false narrative about the woman they hold on to that and lift that up why you think this woman thing is going on in the earth of the woman being lifted up? Because they don't understand their position and place and how esteemous it is. They don't see themselves like Yahusha is with Yahweh. They don't see that. They don't see their jobs and duties to get that will done. You know, like, like the jobs and duties of Yahusha to get the will done of the Father, everything that the Father put in him. It's the same as the husband and that, you know, the wife gets the job done that everything the husband puts in her. And that's the reason why she has to come under submission to the husband and let him teach her and mold her. It's the husband who has to put, who has to teach her. You know, it starts off with the father and the, uh, the mother teaching the children together. But the husband has a head and the daughter stays under the, the headship of the, of the father until she is given to uh, one of the sons of Adam. And once she is given to him, her duties and jobs is to that husband. And, and if he puts in wickedness, guess what? Or if he allows all that wickedness, and that's what she's going to be. But if he molds and shape her or, con or continues the faith, which she was taught of her father, he would keep her in a way, but she will also keep him in a way. For this flesh is weak. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So the jobs and duties of a wife is just as important as the jobs and duty of the uh, as the husband. And, and Yahusha's jobs and duties is the same as the father's jobs and duties. There's no difference between what the father is doing through the son and what the son is doing for the father. They're one. They're one team. That's why you become one with your husband. One oneness. There is no first and second and, and 
you know you what I'm saying? There's this one. It's a oneness now. You're one. Though you're separate, you're one. Same thing with Yahusha and Yahweh. Yahusha is a direct piece of the, of the Father. Broken off to be what he needs to be. To fill all the will of the Father. But they are one. They are one, brothers and sisters. And the spirit that the Father has is in the Son and in us. I ain't talking about no trinity. They're, they're, that, they're, they're all one. And, and we who are in Yahusha becomes one with the Father. And that's why he is all in all. And with that, brothers and sisters, I'm going to say shalom. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And give me a thumbs up. And definitely share this video. Y'all know where to leave those comments. But email me if you have any questions. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah.